Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. I have a fun little project that I want to work on that we will get to in a second. Where is my book? There's my book. Hi and hugs time. Hi and hugs to Beverly, Peg, Judy, and Julie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, well this little project, I saw someone do something similar. Um, her name is Sherry and it's heart and soulful design. I will, um, I will try and, uh, link the video that I watched below, but this is so fun. And, and I think one of, one of you, uh, put me on to this and, um, I'm going to do things a bit different, of course, do a little, do a little spin on it. But it has to do with these jelly prints that um, I did on my, I think it's 8x10 jelly plate. And that has, that have the little, um, the white edges to them. And um, so uh, let me talk you through kind of what she did. She, she glued the strips together, white with white kind of covering up the white a little bit um but glued them together just one after the other like this kind of you know um alternating the patterns and such but yeah so she did that and then she sewed them and then she doodled on them which I love to do that I didn't grab my pens but if we have time who knows anyway so that's what she did I'm thinking I would like to use these perhaps as pages in in a journal. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to glue them onto a piece of coffee dyed paper, then sew, and then and then doodle or whatever. But um, that way they can be used as a page in a journal. Is my thought. So hopefully that all makes sense. The other thing is I really want my jelly prints to fit into this um, this old, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Enamel wear. And um, I, I just kind of want to, it's so cute. It's a Corey Dahman thing. She did her craft room tour and she had these, these cute um, vintage enamel wear pans and that's what she, held her scraps. And so, um, so yeah, I still have my plastic ones too, but these, these are my cute ones. <laughs> so, um, so I need to do something with these too. So they may end up being part of this project too. I don't know. We'll see. So, but if I cut those down a little bit, actually they probably, yeah, see they're close to fitting. So if I can cut those down a little bit, they are going to fit there. And then um, any of these that I think, oh gosh, as is, I think I'd like that as a, as a page in a journal. I'm going to kind of do that too. So I'm, I'm doing this project, but I'm also sorting my, um, my jelly prints too. So yeah, it's just kind of a matter of having a little bit of design, but you don't need the whole thing. And it's good if you can tear them without, if you can rip them without tearing them, if that makes sense. So yeah, so I thought we could do this and do a little chatting whilst we did it. So yeah, I, am able to get a little video in this morning and then this afternoon my friend Lynn is coming over to play I'm so excited she has been gone for a long time she is the best daughter ever she's been taking care of her mama and long ways away from here so um so she's gonna come over and we're gonna have a catch-up visit and um and do some crafting okay so see now that's gonna just fit perfectly in there isn't that pretty that's pretty so my my sorting is gonna be pages versus 
um, collage, and I think that needs to be a page. That's just too pretty. So that will go in my um, that will go in my complete pages. So I'll make a stack of those over to the side. Yeah, see, like, look at this one. That one has, there is a lot of white on that one. So fun, though. I, the, the great thing about using your jelly plate, your jelly prints is then you have to make more. <laughs> I love that. So, um, so yeah. I I have a new mask from the um, the kit from Mixed Media Minnesota, and so I want to play with that. So yeah, we're gonna have jelly. As soon as I have a full day where I can just play in my craft room, that's a fun page too. Well, I don't know. I'm going to keep that as a page too because I love that. Okay. Let's just keep going. We're going to have lots of pages for journals, but um, I do want to use my mixed media stuff a little more often in, um, in my journals. Just sprinkle it through. You know, it doesn't have to. And not every journal, not every, um, what do I want to say, kind of not every subject matter or theme in your journal is gonna work but I would like to use some and these like these colors be great for um see I'm gonna do a little more so that I get some color um would be great in a fall journal wouldn't they and this one a bee journal because it's got honeycombs on it So it's kind of fun to work with these and just think about their possibilities. I don't mind that as a page either. I, I think be journal with that one. Okay, and then the, I think there'll be some of them that it's like, no, that's just going to be collage. So we'll get a good pile here and then we'll then I'll show you the next step just so that we it all makes sense. <clears throat> I really I really enjoyed her name is Sherry Heart and Soulful Design. I enjoyed her video very much. So I don't know that she watches my channel, but if she does, thank you, Sherry. This was a brilliant idea. This one's got some shine to it. I like that. Okay, let's guess I'll go right about there with that one. Try not to use too, too much of the print. But see, that was printed on um, on some recycled paper. So that's going to go in the collage pile. This one's on gel or uh, deli paper. And I've had that question, what is the difference between deli paper and another paper? It's just really thin. It's really thin. So, let's see, that kind of goes to the edges there. I'm going to take off this edge, too. Let's see. Oh, no, maybe back. Maybe right about there. The paper's not straight. Now I'm making it straight. How's that? Okay, so, so that one's good. Another deli print. My husband's going, <laughs> going on the treadmill, and when he starts it up, it goes beep, 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 beep. <laughs> he said, it won't bother your video if I go on the treadmill, will it? And I said, I said, no. He said, well, what if I, like, have a heart attack and fall over and make a big ruckus and, and I said well I think at that point I say excuse me guys I have something to take care of oh he's such a goof okay so that's a fun one too 
Let's do let's do this one and um this one is cardstock. Hmm. I'm wondering, do I want cardstock on this? I don't think I do. I'm gonna put that one on the bottom for now. Oh, look at this one. This one's already ready to go. And it's got it's got some little writing on it. Okay, I'm gonna put that one. Put that one in the collage basket. Um, you know, if we had a pink or red or something, that'd be good. Like this is good. Just looking at what colors I don't have for my little my little piece that we're gonna do. Lots of colors, lots of colors to play with here. Let's see, let's go right there. I love the lines on the Tim Holtz ruler. They make life so much easier. Okay, that's, ooh, that maybe needs to be a page, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Okie dokie. Now, we're going to grab a piece of coffee dyed paper. I'm going to look at it and see which side is my favorite. I think this is my favorite side. So we're going to work over here. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly how to do this. <laughs> but I'm going, to, I'm going to just jump in. Why not, right? I'm going to have some to trim off, and that's okay. I think I want to use glue stick. I don't remember what kind of glue she used, but um, I think I'll use glue stick. And then I'm not going to sew this today. I'll let it dry. And then I, I'll show you where I'm going to sew on it. So, okay. And I'm just going to put a little on it. It doesn't have to be super thick because... Um, I'm going to sew this whole thing. So, so, so I'm going to sew it. <laughs> okay. There's that. Some of these are not going to be long enough. So I'm going to have to put a little, put a little extra piece on there. That's okay. But see how I'm going to, um, cover up the white. And like this has a little white on the end, so I'm going to move it over and that'll get cut off. Kind of like that. Okay. Um, what other color should we use? Orange? Let's just go for it. I'm not sure if this one's going to be, is that going to be long enough? Yes. really go to the edge there. Okay. Um, let's use this one. And so we'll just continue along until the page is full. Like that. A little white is fine. Because when I sew, I'm going to sew kind of on these edges. I don't know. I think I need some that are a little wider. Spread this out a little bit. Like I might put that one and leave some of the white. I think that's what I'm going to do. But fun, huh? Thought that this was such a great idea. Let's see, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave a little more white. I was I'm worried that these are too close together for the stitching is what was 
concerning me. And then this one's a real, this one's really um, a lot of patterns. So I'm going to put that down a little bit and leave a little white. Kind of like that. Okay. How about one of these? I have one. Oh, I guess that was that one. Okay. I'm going to put that one there. And this one, I'm just going to butt it right up against it because that's all, all pattern there. Ooh, how about some of the, some of this stuff? That'd be good. Deli paper. So what I did to get my deli paper is, um, I'm sure you can order it on Amazon, but I got mine so many years ago, I don't even think Amazon was a thing yet. <laughs> but um, I just went to a deli down the street, which happened to be the one that my daughter used to own. And so I knew the owner. And I asked him if I could buy a package because they, you know, they wrap their sandwiches in it. I asked him if I could buy a package of deli paper from him. He said, sure. He said, we, you know, we, we have lots of it. And so, um, I think I paid $20 or something for, uh, um, 500,000 sheets. I don't know. But I, I know um, Amazon has it too, so that's another option. Let's see, this is pretty. Let's do that. Is that too close? That's too close. Maybe we'll do one of these. I think these will make cool pages, though. Especially, you know, if you're doing something arty or kaleidoscopy or some sort of journal like that. I would like a pink again, I think. A pink, I think. Oh, I have a good movie recommendation for you guys. So Mike and I watched it last night and it was kind of like we were having trouble finding a movie and we just thought, oh, well, let's try it. Um, it's called Saving Lincoln. And um, what I loved about it was the cinematography was really interesting because, of course, it takes place in the time of Abraham Lincoln. And, um, but, you know, the, the actors are, are there acting, but the, um, the background is like, ooh, that's pretty, um, the background is like, old black and white photos of like the places where they were. I don't know. It was just really cool, really different. So anyways, there you go. There's my movie recommendation of the day. Okay. Um, maybe one of these now. How about this one? That's a cool one. So um, we watched that and then we started a new series. So Saving Lincoln was on Prime and then we started a new series called Echoes on Netflix. Ooh, it's good. It's kind of mystery. I love me a good mystery. And so, yeah, so that was, that's been, that's fun too. Look at this, you guys. This is so fun and I'm just about to, use up. I forget not to be so heavy handed, but it'll be fine. Once it, once it dries, it'll be okay. Better 
put one over the other way that needs that needs extra because that one goes all the way. That's all right. Um, anyway, that Echoes one's really, really suspenseful. And it's like I said, like, I said, if we need to take a restroom break, we're going to have to pause this because it's one you need to kind of keep track of what's going on. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm excited about it. It's one of those limited series, so it's like seven episodes is all, but really enjoying it so far okay so now I'm going to cut these off and get some little pieces to fill in some of those spots and if we don't use them all they'd make they'd make good little scraps to collage with wouldn't they okay but we'll try and we'll try and use them. Okay. So there's a pretty good size one there. Oh, and this is the same paper, so that kind of worked out. Okay, I don't oh, my husband's having a sneeze. Don't be falling on the treadmill because you're, <laughs> you're sneezing. Oh, dear. He's so funny. That one, be, that one would be good there. Sherry's probably rolling her eyes at me if she's watching this. Like, you don't know what you're doing. I don't. I'm just playing. That's kind of how I roll. It's not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so anyways, really inter really interesting, but so I think we'll be able to watch that series tonight again, but then tomorrow night starts March Madness again. Gotta, gotta see if, see if my zags are playing. So, oh, I have a story to tell you too. Um, when my daughter and family were here last weekend. Um, I don't know how it came up, but um, one of the girls said, Nana, do you know how to knit? And I said, I said, no, I never really learned to knit, but I, I do crochet. And they were like, well, what's crochet? And so I had a, a partially done afghan downstairs that, oh, I started it years ago. I can't even tell you when. It was like a long time ago. Um, I'm seeing if there's somewhere what I can do with this. Like, look right there. I think I will. Um, anyways, so I went and dug it out of the basement. It was in a lovely basket that was my mom's. And um, yeah, so that was kind of fun to revisit that little basket but then um uh took it upstairs to show them and stuff and um my granddaughter Katie was like Nana please finish that I want it <laughs> so I've been in the evening working on crocheting on that afghan um and so I'll give it to Katie at some point Maybe when she graduates from high school two years from now. <laughs> Give myself enough time. Okay, so that's what the paper's going to look like. I'm going to go back um, and sew on the seams, kind of. Different stitches and whatever. And then, and then, if I feel like it needs some doodling, I'll, I'll do some doodling. Like, we could outline those in black or brown or something, you know. And then, it can be folded and put into a journal, is my thought. Isn't that fun? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. 
make some more strips. I that used up almost everything we done. Um yeah, so but I'm finding with the crocheting once again, doggone it, this whole age thing. Um, I'm finding that I can only do it for an hour or so, or this thumb bugs me. I need to use my um the brace that I use for uh slow stitching. I need to do that. I need to put that on is what I need to do. This one's going to be collage, I think. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Always, always want you to. <laughs> I never make videos and think, oh, I hope they don't like this one. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty though. That'll be a fun collage piece. Okay. So yeah, all these are from my finished pile. Look at this one. Um, hmm, that's going to be interesting. It's already got doodling on it, kind of. Um, so I'm going to just get a little bit of paint there. And then it was done on a recycled... A recycled piece from work that's that's what it is okay make sure we're kind of even that edge is not even because I just chopped it in half is what I think happened there um, so I'm just using the line of my ruler to make somewhat straight pieces here. Oh, look at that. That looks way... Okay, so that is not straight. So what I'm going to do is line up this corner. Look at how not straight that is. So now that's a good piece of paper, but do I want that as a page? What do you think? I don't often work with those colors. I don't know. I had a wacky day. I went, yeah, I'm going to use that as collage, I think. This one, anybody recognize this one? February Gale's Artwear. <laughs> Ooh, this one's fun. Look at this one. It was on um, cardstock, and I'm not going to do the cardstock like this. I might tear it down, but I don't think I'm going to put the cardstock on the page. So let's do that. A little, little bit lighter color. That'll be nice to add to the mix there. This one's going to be rather large, but paper just didn't go to the, or the paint just didn't go to the edge. This is, I don't know if this was a roll-off page or what. But I'm going to tell you, this is fun. And it's satisfying to be getting some nice pieces for pages. That could be a page. Yeah, that's a cute little page. So obviously they will also, um, you know, vary the size in your journal. Oh, isn't that pretty? Maybe it goes this way. Page, Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. I think I have a journal in mind that I'm going to put that in. Oh, yay. Okay, this one's fun. And it's got splooshy paint up to the edge, kind of. I'm going to have to watch my clock because I could do this all day. It was fun. And it's kind of nice. You're getting a good look at some of the um, some of the jelly shirts I've done over time. 
it's kind of fun on the edges you can see more readily see like all the layers that went into making this which I really love that too could that be a page I think it could yeah that's nice okay oh hello we've got a little that's just going to be collage I think it's a page out of a legal book that I jelly printed on. <laughs> this, oh, and this is a magazine page. So, you know, nothing's safe when I'm jelly printing. Everything gets grabbed to, to paint on. But this will be fine as far as being glued slash slow, sewed down to the page. And this one is going to be, oh, I can't see. It's dark. Um, this one's going to be collage, I think. But that's a fun one. Ooh, look at this one. This one's, this one's already been doodled on. It's good color, though. So what else do I have to tell you? Uh, carpentry work has come to a standstill at my house because they've done everything they can on the deck, uh, but they have to wait for the ground to thaw and to make sure it's um, a solid base. Right now it's all, it's either wet or snowy, one or the other, if it's warm out, it's wet. <laughs> If it's snowing, it's snowy. Um, I think that one is going to be collage. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, they have to have it, a solid base to so the stairs are sturdy. Oh, that looks good all the other ways around. It's kind of pretty. Hmm. I think I'm going to make this a page. If I don't use it in the next year or something, then it can go in the collage pile. But I like that. And it's bigger. Okay, there's another one with that little mark-making tool. So, and then um, th the front, they have to set posts for that deck. And so the ground has to be thawed. And the windows, they don't want to start that until it's warmer. So there you go. We're at a standstill for now. But that's okay. It's given Mike and I a little breather. It's a little stressful to have, well, you've got, you know, other people at your house all day. And, you know... They need to use the restroom, and so they're knocking on the door. And, you know, it's just it's just a, what do I want to say, kind of a interruption to your routine, I guess is what I would say. But I'm grateful that they have gotten as much done as they have, and it looks really good, you guys. I'm excited about it. So, um, very excited. When they started putting up the rail, I don't know if I told you, but... I was so excited that I hugged the carpenter. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't know what to do. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Mike's like, oh, you are such a goof. Okay, this one has... This one's different. It sprays, and then it's got modeling paste on it. And rough modeling paste. So that's something else. And this one is the same. It's got that pumice stone on it. This one too. Okay, so I think I only have one more. I do, because now I'm down to the, to the others. So those are gonna go kind of back into the, um, back into the bin of finished, 
things. I, you know, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I really don't. I don't know. This is an interesting one. It's kind of boring, actually. <laughs> it's shiny. I'll give it that. It sort of reminds me of army gear and or a reptile. I don't know. I think that's going to be collage. Okay, so I have quite the quite the pan of collage pieces. So that's awesome. Should we do how's how, how's we doing on time? Oh good. Let's do another one. And then after we do this one, oops, got more than one. Um, I would like to look. I would like to look at. So be okay. Hang on. These are my pages. They're stacked over here. This is going to go back into my file of finished things that I can work with, just not for this project. Okay, so get that stuck over there. Okay, so now, um, what was I saying? I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, so I hope I'm well in camera. Oh, good, I am. Um, let's just, let's just kind of slap these down. I think it'll go quicker this time because I know what I'm doing this time, kind of as much as I ever do. Okay, well this is gonna be sticking off this edge a little bit, but that's okay. Oop, oop. I can't really see without getting my head right in the camera. There we go. Okay, so. Um, so yeah, and then, and then another thing they're doing is reciting our house. So we really do have a lot happening once the weather is conducive to it happening. Um, yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy. Ooh, let's do this crazy one. Yeah, that's fun. You could make them go the other way too. That would be fun. Maybe we should do one like that. Make them go this way. just so happy. I'm still washing bedding from my family being here. <laughs> oh, it's been kind of putting things back together. But gosh, it was great to have them though. We had fun. I told you Katie's boyfriend came, didn't I? That was fun. Such a nice kid. Okay, how about like one of these? How come that's not long enough? Let's do this one. Yeah. It goes pretty quick gluing them down because um, I'm not going back and forth to make the <laughs> make the um, glue thick enough or anything. I'm just doing a quick little rundown because it's going to get gonna get sewn anyway. Okay, how about some of this gold? Ooh, that's a pretty one. Gonna need a little extra patch, but 
that was kind of fun to do too. Go back and patch it a little bit. Okay, how about this one? Oh, that's short too. I don't want two short ones in the in a row. I think this will go all the way across. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I need some pink. That's what I need. go there. Oh, where's that one? This one with all the all the goofiness on it. Okay, I don't like those two blacks together. Maybe we'll put that one. Okay. Um, we need one of these again. Let's see. That's too long. I'd kind of like to save that for doing an up and down one. That's good. It's going to be, it's going to be a bit of sewing, isn't it? But okay let's do this one we'll do that that way okay Ooh, this one's cool will that fit just right I need a little juice or something. I'm feeling weak. Okay, let's cut those off and then we can maybe use them for the edge. And then we'll try and do a longer one uh, uh, the other way. I can tell this hour is going to be one of those ones that just goes too fast for me. Not big enough. Oh, that could go down there. Just find little spots for them. That goes good there. Um, this one. Go that way. And I have in here this one. If I cut that off. You could kind of put that like that. That'd be good. There we go. I get all the spots? I think I did. This is just white, but that's okay. That could maybe have a doodle. Okay, so there's that one. Let's do at least get one started that goes the other way. Um, but I wanted to use this. Oh, I didn't look at which side of this I liked better, so let's flip it. The nice thing about going this way is um, when it's stitched, 
the page will have lines that are the right way for writing. <laughs> Okay, how about this one? Might look and see if I have any pink in the other ones because I'm I just mostly got these same colors. I'm gonna go this way so not all the patching is on one side. Okay, let's look over here for a second. See if I have any pink in this. There's that one. That one. I love that one. I would brighten it up some. That's nice. That one's got a lot of weirdness to it. So I'm gonna I think I'll do these two and then I'll have a variety of colors. are going to have to be um, maybe torn in half or something to fit into my little tray. Ah! Don't, don't do it wrong. There we go. Okay, on this side. This side I can take a good hunk off of. take two strips off of this. That one and this one. And I'm thinking this for collage. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of rip it down the middle and put it in the tray. Cool. Okay. Let's do this one real quick. This one, again, I'm going to make two strips with it. That. And here. I, I'm so worried, but it's just the sound of it, I guess. Okay, and then there's a little blank spot there. So I'm just going to rip this. That can go in. And I'm going to rip a little bit down here. Okay, cool. Now, back to this. I want a lighter color. Yes. All right. Try and do a, about 11 inches. <laughs> Go there. Maybe now I could do this one. Yeah. Okay, and then let's do this. Uh, 
Okay, now we can maybe do one of these. Just so colorful. I need a new glue page. I'm starting to stick to it. New glue page coming up. Okay, how about one of these? Might have to tear some to go on the, to finish those edges a bit like these but that's okay let's do a goldy one this one should be the right length theoretically yep if I put it down correctly there we go okay Dark one. Ooh, this is a good one here. Yeah, let's do that one. And I'm wondering about this one. I do think I'd like a strip though. Kind of so it's not white all along there. Um kind of looking for one that's How about this guy. Yes. You know, I guess if you don't have a jelly plate, you could do the same thing with washi tape, right? I think so. And this little guy. Okay, we need some smaller pieces. Here and there. So I kind of like a pink there of some sort. Oh, here's one that's about the right width. Okay, let's do that. So we got three done anyway. I'm feeling happy about that. That's over that edge. Um, this is a kind of, yep. Okay, I need a bit thicker one here. Um, maybe the end of this. Mm, maybe whatever this is. Actually, go a little long on that because there's a lot of white at the end of that one. Okay. Could do that. Oops. <laughs> Picking them off of the page there. That's not good. That's not what we want to do. Okay, there's that. I need a little 
little something right here. So I'm going to put that there. Roll up my glue a little. Okay, so that can go there. And I just have this little corner up here. <clears throat> I need a bit thicker something. This is thicker, but it's the same as below, but I guess I'm going to go with it. Hope it's ripped on both edges. <laughs> okay. And then a little piece right there. Two of the same, right? Close. Oh, I have one down there too. Okay. And then right here. some of this. Yes. Okay. And we got one done that way. And so, of course, I'll sew this way on this one. So, I don't know if I'll get those done before the next video, but whenever I get them done, I'll show you the result. And remember that it was Scrappy Saturday that we did these try to anyway okay so let's check our time gosh those are fun oh yep we're just about just about there so I have some more strips I'll have to put those in something and then I still have all of these ones that I want to do in the same manner because oh like look at that one it's only jelly printed in the middle. So I need to go through those as well. But I have my little happy pan started. I have, oh gosh, I have seven pages for journals. And I have the three pages that we made. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will, you know, if you have some jelly prints with edges that aren't perfect <laughs> that that's something you could try too so thank you to sherry once again heart and soulful design again i'll try and find the video and put it down below so thanks everyone so much and i hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video bye